our local farmers come and pick up our used grain that he uses. So. Did you hear they're putting marshmallows in the brew house? So today we're making the Yams beer, a beer they're gonna celebrate Thanksgiving. And right now we're putting pecans inside of the boil. Marshmallow. And because we like a lot marshmallow, we need a lot. Organic maple syrup, really good one. More marshmallows, because we love marshmallows. Last but not least, brown sugar. And uh, yams is coming, sweet potato pie. Sweet potato goes into the tank later with vanilla beans. Gonna be awesome. Okay, I'm gonna take you into the canning room now. So as you guys know, we switched from bottles to cans within the last year. So a couple fun facts about our canning machine. It moves so quickly that we have to have multiple people running it at a time. Beforehand, we just needed two, and now we need the whole crew. It cans 110 cans per minute. Another fun fact, our canning machine is so big that we couldn't fit it through this door. It's not that wide and it's not that tall. So then, we had to cut a hole in the wall to make it fit. And as you can see, our stack of cans aren't going to fit through the little door either, so they also have to come through the big door. All right, let's head into the cold room. These shade sampler packs are getting ready to send out to the distributors. This is our beer to go collection. Now I'm gonna go grab my boss, Alex, so she can tell us where all this beer's going and why we keep it in here. Hey Alex, you think 
you could tell us a little bit about the cold room. Uh, sure. Uh, <laughs> The cold room. So what we have the cold room for is to hold our inventory. And um, what happens is the distributor holds a certain amount of inventory in their warehouse. And then as soon as that is taken out to the grocery stores, the restaurants, the liquor stores, it depletes their inventory and we pull from our inventory and send it over to them. And so um, it's our job to make sure that we are keeping them fully stocked. So we try to keep our uh, inventory um, cold room uh, fully stocked so it can be ready to go over to the distributor. And um, it's always a challenge, but um, yeah, so that's what it's for. Thank you. Do you guys remember that hallway you used to walk to to get to the tap room? It's filled with cans now. We're in the space where our tap room used to be. Now it's filled with big brew tanks. Just an FYI, there is a national can shortage due to the pandemic. That's why our lovely hazy and juicy cans are being covered up by our pumpkin pie. This is where we had our tap room in the summer. Since it's gonna snow this weekend, we're looking for places to host our pop-up tap room in the winter. Don't be shocked. Our patio looks a little bit different. Let me give you a sneak peek of what we've been working on right behind me. Since opening up in some new states like Idaho and California, Trent and Alex are gonna redo this bus so they can travel all around and let everyone try our beer. You like my bus? Yeah. Are you going to take us all in it? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Where's our first stop? Wendover, man. Wendover! <laughs>